Hello and welcome to day 28 wow, of Vlogtober and October. Uh, wow, day 28 already. Um, I do apologise but today's vlog is going to be a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> I got up at about quarter to six this morning. Um, I, di I didn't sleep very well. Um, and in the end I thought oh, I'll just get up and I had a cup of tea and I did, did my editing so my vlog's all done that's good and then by about half past eight I was ready to go back to bed and I pretty much went back to bed until about half past eleven and I'm just absolutely drained of all energy like usually I'd be flitting about all over the place on a Saturday getting things cleaned and doing all the houseworky bits, but I just cannot. So I'm in bed and I've just been reading, really. I had a nice sleep earlier on and then Dan has gone out to do uh, to drop Phoebe to meet some friends and um, do a bit of shopping. And I've just been reading Practical Magic and I'm only a few pages from the end, so I'm gonna finish this in a minute and then choose which book I'm gonna start on next. I was gonna start on Daisy Jones and the Six, which I've been really looking forward to reading, but I might read Legends and Lattes because it seems like the kind of season, like a book that might fit the season, but I'm not sure. Uh, and I thought I'd show you as well because I had a comment asking about showing my drawing and things, which I haven't actually talked about or shown since we were in Scotland in August. Uh, and that sketchbook is actually downstairs, but I was sticking in some things. So yes, in yesterday's vlog, you would have seen me uh, organising some notes for work and I was taking out some of the doodles that I have in my work notebook and I've just stuck them into one of my sketchbooks and it meant that I had to get them out. So I thought I'd just show you some of my older sketchbooks that I don't use so much anymore. And you may have seen these before. So actually what I might do is I'll select a couple of things to show you. What can I show you? I'm not too ashamed of. So you probably would have seen a lot of these before. Um, these are the ones I really enjoy doing. I love doing intricate houses with windows and things. These are both houses that are in Westgate-on-Sea, which is one of my favourite places on earth. It's on the Kent coast and we love it there and in fact had I had more energy today we might have gone down there for a little bit of sea air um who knows maybe next week maybe I might take Phoebe down there next week so these are just some pictures I did from from photographs uh, I took the photographs knowing I wanted to draw them and I really enjoyed doing them and I must say as well let me see if I could right so I'm going to show you close up which is something I, I very rarely do <laughs> because I do feel shy about stuff. I don't know if you can quite see there, but everything is off, everything is wonky. It's not a photo realistic representation of that house. It is a sketch, it's cartoony, it's wonky, the perspective is off, and 
it's almost like a doodle sketch but the enjoyment of it is just in the doing of it and I love the fact that it's a bit wonky and I learned that from uh, Stephen Reddy don't know why that I can't recall the name properly yeah Stephen Reddy I've got a uh, I've got one of his books and he talks about not worrying about stuff like that and not judging it and just going with it and enjoying it and that really revolutionized the way I think about my drawing and it made me start to enjoy it because this sketchbook is for me and yes I'm going to share a couple of little bits with you but on the whole these little silly sketches in here are just for me and there's some lovely memories in here of sketches that I did in situ no matter how successful they are I've also got some inspiration sketches in here uh, not inspiration sketches like postcards and things that I picked up so here I've got um, the painting called From Margate Beach Sands, Sunset off Margate Pier, and it's by the brilliant JMW Turner. And I bought that in the Tate Modern, uh, not the Tate Modern, the Tate, uh, the Tate, um, oh God, word, the Tate at Margate. And it's just inspiration for stuff that I like. And I've got another JMW Turner in here. It's the Pont del Torre Spoleto. And this is one of my favourite. I actually printed this off because I couldn't get a postcard of it. It's one of my favourite paintings, I think, ever. I love how it's just a blur. But it's also, you know what it is. I just, oh, I just love it. I love JMW Turner. And these are just some sketches I did of everyday things. My phone, wine, wine. <laughs> it's a house we stayed in in Scotland that was beautiful a couple of years ago. No, oh, this is something I did when I so I worked with Skillshare on my other channel, and I did uh, a Skillshare course with. Oh, I can't think of her name. She's a brilliant illustrator. I really like what she does. And she does these pie charts. And I did a resilience pie. Uh, she does pie charts to represent things in her mental health or her life or her thoughts and her feelings. And I did resilience pie. And just here's, here's what it looks like. So this is my resilience pie. And it's got things like... Uh, every day over 23 degrees Celsius, uh, diagnosed with ulcerative colitis at 19, total, total proctocolectomy at 35, 16 years of driving in South London, postnatal depression, every colonoscopy, 2020 has got its own slice here, things like that. That was really good fun to do. And in fact, I will link that Skillshare class underneath if you are on Skillshare, because it, it was a really fun exercise. And you may also remember if you watch my other channel that I did a map of knitting a sweater. <laughs> really pleased with this. You start with the uh, like the Pinterest Delta and the Ravelry Sea, and then there's an area here towards Brioche, and then you can either follow the Crochet Trail on the knitting path past Mount Gage and the Alps of existing whips through Netflix Village, past Sleeve Island and through the Ribbing Plateau. And then you might reach the tunnels of distraction or the mojo bridge where you might lose your bridge and then right at the end you see the yarn chickens there <laughs> that was really good fun to do okay so this was in july 2022 so last year and it was just like a little diary entry where i drew uh, well i sketched the flowers that i bought as the teacher i can't believe this was only in 2022. Wow, Phoebe was just finishing primary school last year, that's amazing. Um, so I sketched the flowers that I'd bought for the teachers because I did the collection, did a little kind of diary entry and made a note of the uh, temperature and things. And this is the kind of thing I'd love to have time to do, um, you know, every week, not necessarily every day, but 
I enjoy doing it. I like having the record of it, but it's not something I uh, get a lot of time to do. So yeah, I was just looking, and here's the doodles that you saw me cutting out yesterday. I was just sticking it in this sketchbook. And this is, this is some sketches I did from Lancashire last year. So I've got like the view from the house where we stayed and I've got little, little pockets of scenes from the house where we stayed, which I enjoyed. And just little diary things really. So that's just a little, a little insight into some of my sketchbooks. Not everything, but for, for the person that asked, um, I haven't done anything more recently than when I was sketching back in August in Scotland. Actually, that reminds me, I bought this up. This was a gift from my friend, Ali. Hello, Ali. Hello, Maddie. And uh, they popped in during the summer when they were off on their summer holidays. And they bought us some little gifts, which was so lovely of them. And Ali bought me my year in small drawings by Matilda Tristram. Notice, draw, appreciate. It says, my Year in Small Drawings invites you to create a unique visual diary of the world around you by making a series of small drawings on a single subject. There's no pressure to decide, to decide what to draw. Um, author and illustrator... I'm not reading this very well, am I? I'll keep going. <laughs> author and illustrator Matilda Tristram provides 52 themes and examples to inspire your exploration. Perfectly sized to accompany you on your travels or daily commute, this sketchbook encourages observation through a gratifying practice of filling just one small space at a time. I, this kind of thing really appeals to me. So I'll show you one example. So we've got a page here that's people looking at their phones. So you get all the examples and you get a little blurb here explaining things. And then you get uh, a grid of 12 little squares which then you're kind of invited to make your own drawings. Um, oh no, you get more than that. There's lots of grids. Oh, so you can go wrong as well. People on laptops. This is brilliant for me actually, because I am terrible at figures and including people in my drawings. So that kind of thing will really challenge me to work on that. Oh, it's divided into seasons as well. That's really interesting shoes so yeah i'm gonna start this where does it start with which season does it start with it starts with winter it was meant to be we're just coming into winter right i'm gonna start this oh and there's all things at the beginning about the purpose of drawing why draw how to use the journal drawing from photos or from real life Oh, how interesting. Oh, I'm going to get stuck into this after I finish my book. Before I get back to reading as well, I had loads of comments over the past couple of days saying, because I'm on antibiotics, that um, probiotic yoghurt, probiotic drinks are really useful um, to sort of counteract some of the stuff that antibiotics do. Um, and yes, you're right. I, Dan takes one of these every day. Um, so we've always got them in the fridge. So he's bought some extra and I'm going to take them. Um, I'm not always very good at taking them every day, but you've reminded me that I've got to do that. And so a few other people said multivitamins and I've also got the effervescent multivits, which I also sometimes forget to take. So I'm going to make sure I do that every day. So thank you for that. I also really like these. So that's a good thing, isn't it? Something that's good for you, that's also really tasty. Perfect. Oh, that's yummy. I think that's tropical flavour. Have I got a moustache? <laughs> God, I look dreadful. Right, it's half past six. Um, so I spoke to you and then I finished my book, Practical Magic, um, which I enjoyed. Not as much as I thought I was going to. And then quite a few of you have commented to say that you preferred the other books in the series. So I'm looking forward to reading the rest of them. I think I, I did review it. it. Seems so long ago now. I think I gave it a 3.5. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it and I'm glad I, I finished it. And then I promptly fell asleep. And Dan woke me up at half past five. 
and I have to admit that I am feeling not great and Dan's just on his way back with Lilia from work so I'm going to put some past the rest of her tortellini on from the other night for her because she's then straight out to a party. Dan and Phoebe and I were planning to have jacket potatoes I'm not sure if I'm going to manage it but I'm going to cook it and anyway and it's Saturday and I hate Saturdays especially Saturday nights because everything just feels loud and I'm just ready for it to be tomorrow. Grumble, grumble, moan, moan. Sundays, Sunday's my favourite. I just realised I've got my friend's name written on my hand to remind me to text her as well, so I've got to do that. Putting Vaseline around my mouth all day. I'm just hideous. I've been putting, applying Vaseline all around my mouth because I've got these sores at the corner of my mouth where I'm so run down. So I'm tired and my hair's scraped back and I'm covered in sores and Vaseline. I've said it before on these vlogs, but do you remember Colin from the British Empire? <laughs> he was always like disgusting and had like weeping bandages and sores on his face and stuff. Yeah, that's me right now. Anyway, I think I'm going to say goodbye and this vlog's going to be a bit of a weird one. I'm really sorry. It's just I've been sleeping all day. So you've got what I was talking about earlier and that's going to be about it, I think. Um, and I think if I keep vlogging, I'm just going to end up moaning and nobody wants to watch that. So I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm going to go and put my pillar candle, my pillar candle on the mantelpiece ran out, so Dan picked another one out. Picked another one out, picked another one up today. So I'm going to go and put this on the mantelpiece and light it. Something like lighting a fresh pillar candle. Lovely. And I'll see you tomorrow for Sunday, best day of the week, and day 29 of October. See you then. Why can't I get into this? <laughs> Doesn't look that hard. Success.